In this video, I want to show you how to change some of the information that's associated with your profile and other elements uh, as you participate in Moodle courses. To do that, I'm uh, once again using um, my own participation in a course um, a teaching with Moodle that's just begun in August. Um, and I want to show you um, more or less how a student would view the uh, course. So uh, in order to change elements of your profile, um, in this particular situation, what we're going to do is we're going to click the drop down uh, for the drop down list right next to our profile. It's a little triangle. And we're going to go directly down to preferences. Uh, we can go through uh, to find and edit our profile in a number of ways, but uh, the information that we need comes up under preferences. So that's one way I'm going to show you. Um, under preferences, we can get to directly edit our profile. And most of the information that I'm going to show you, I think actually all of that information is in our profile. So I want to click the edit profile uh, link and that should bring up a screen that allows us to change uh, our name as it is entered in the system. Um, you don't want to change it to an unrecognizable name, obviously. Um, we can also, at this particular point, change our email address. If you want to receive your email, your um, forum notifications and other uh, Moodle information at a different email than the one that has been assigned to you at mytru.ca, uh, you can put any email address that uh, you receive mail at, um, and that way you can put the the email address that you most commonly receive uh, check. Um, so that you receive notifications in a good uh, point. You can also, um, or at a good time, uh, you can also change how your email is displayed for other people. Uh, usually the, def the default hides your email ad address from everyone, and many people are quite happy with that. Um, you can have public access to your email, so anybody who happens to be on the site can see your uh, email. You can also allow only other course members to see your email address. Um, that means that if they wanted to email you, wanted to send you a message, um, they would have your uh, direct email and not just have to send you a message through the Moodle system. Of course the Moodle system works uh, as well, but oftentimes uh, class members like to share ad addresses with each other but not outside the class. So this keeps it within your class. You can also enter as much of your city and town information as you want or if you're from a community that's not right in Williams Lake and you want to identify that um, or if you're taking uh, courses from one of the regional campuses and want to put in any city or town can be uh, listed in there. Um, uh, the, our students associated with the campus here are all Canadian students, so it's probably best to keep that location in Canada. But if you're accessing uh, our courses remotely, feel free to change the country, uh, the time zone. Uh, the server time zone is in universal time, so that means that your forum messages may get posted as if you were in Greenwich, England. Um, you can put as much or as little as you want to in the description um, and allow people as much access to your personal information as you want. Nothing is required in there. Uh, you can also upload a, a picture to the site. If you don't have a picture loaded, you can, you can add that. If you have additional names, so that if you go by one name and you want that name to be on your diploma, but informally you want a different name to be used in classes, this would be the place where you could um, put that information. You can add interests. There's no particular uh, uh, course uh, value in doing this, but this allows you to, to uh, be able to make contact with other students with similar interests so that you can, for example, go snowboarding together on weekends if you want to. Um, there's other uh, many other different IDs that can be put in there uh, as much or as little as you want. Um, this once again is only available to other Moodle participants and only through the Moodle site. So it's not being, it's not like it's linking into, let's say, LinkedIn or Twitter or Google Plus. Um, this is still something that is kept very much in house in uh, Moodle and uh, is, it respects the FIPA. 
uh, privacy regulations here in BC uh, by keeping all the information on a server that is within TRU. So this has been some, uh, this is some of the ways that you can change the information that is displayed and change how you are notified um, with campus information that comes through the Moodle system.